Hi there, Lee Arnold, rendering specialist at Autodesk. And just want to cover a use case for the triplanar input paraxis attribute. So the input paraxis allows you to use different textures for each projection axis. Enables you to create all sorts of shading effects, such as snow, dust, sand, moss, etc. So I've got this example of a street scene that can use the triplanar shader to add some snow. So here's the before and here's after using the triplanar input paraxis. Okay, so I've got the street scene here, and it's being lit by a sky dome light and an area light for the atmosphere volume that we've got uh, connected to the environment here. The density up quite high, give that sort of foggy, foggy effect. So we start off an Arnold render and the viewport. So if you start off with the street shader, we've got an input texture going to the base color, the shader here. So I'm going to start off by creating Try playing a shader and connecting that out color to the base color of the street. So by default the triplanar is set to white in the in all axes. So I'm going to enable input per axis and make sure the coordinate space is set to world axis. And then we change the input X and the input Z so that we're just left with the Y direction to so getting just the snow in the in the y in the y axis um, and I'm just gonna add, add the z here because it looks, looks a bit better with the z. What about our street texture if we can't sign it to the base color anymore because with the triplane is going to the base color and we can't connect it to the input axis because it will pro then project the texture which we don't want because it's it's a UV texture. So what can we do? Well we can use a, a layer RGB shader and layer the two together. Okay, so I'm just going to disconnect that, create a layer RPG, a shader, connect the out color to the base color, and then the street texture will go to the input of layer one, and enable layer two, connect the triplanar to the input of layer two. Now we won't see anything for the triplanar because the operation sets over. You can experiment with different operation methods, which is quite fun to play with. For example, average gives a sort of soft snow effect. We can still see the texture beneath the snow. Or in this case, I'm going to use max, like so. Okay, so that's the street. Let's, let's focus on the car now. So again, in this case, we've got a car paint shader with the texture map going into the base color base color so I'm going to again disconnect that create a layer RGB and connect the out color to the base color of the car paint and then the car texture going into the input for one and then we'll create a separate triplanar for the car because I want to uh, adjust it differently to the street so Try playing into the input two. And then remember we've got to change the operation to max. And then we need to limit the input ac per axis. So I'm going to reduce the X and the Z. And make sure that the uh, coordinate set space is set to world. So now we're just getting this so in the Y axis. Now you notice the there's a very harsh edge here where the projection's happening on the car. We can use the blend to blend the uh, projections. Now we're getting more snow over the edges here on the the, win the uh, windows here. It's looking a bit too soft. We could go back, bring it down, maybe 0.5. But still, it's still a kind of hard edge here. We can break that up using a noise shader. So I'm going to add an Arnold noise shader to the blend here. I'll color to the blend. And then increase the number of octaves, something like eight. And then just to experiment with the scale, so maybe something like 10. Will give us quite large noise here, which may be something that you'll want. Or we could even go in higher to get a, a finer noise. See it blending with the finer noise on the, the edge here. 
Okay, so that's how to use the triplanar input paraxes to create a snowy street scene. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.